What's going on people? Ryan White back in the studio this morning putting together another tutorial for you all. Today we're going to have a look at the new 5 Seconds of Summer song Young Blood. So today's lesson, we've got a great tune with a really, really strong melody. We're gonna go through all the parts to this one. I couldn't wait to put this one together for you guys out there. So let's drop this intro and get straight into today's lesson. All right, people, let's start breaking down the first part. So here we go, this one here. Right, before we get started people, today we have our capo placed on the 3rd fret to get that into the same key as the tune. Alright, first voicing, here we go. So we're just going to treat this as if it's in open position. So we've got an E minor voicing here, which are with our first finger on the 10th fret, like that. Third finger on the 12th fret on the D string. We've got an open G string like that. And then we've got our second finger on the 11th fret on the B string and then the open E string like that. All right, so what we're doing with our finger picking for this one is we're going our thumb on the A string. So you can use whatever fingers you like, I should say, but I'm just gonna do it like this to demonstrate how I'm using it. It's a little bit more natural. So we go thumb on the A string like that, first finger on the G, second finger on the B, and that's the first three notes we're hitting in the range where we go like that. So one, and then we're going on the D string, the G string, and the B string like that. So it goes one, one, two, three. So one, one, two, three, like that on those three strings. So last one, 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 two, three. And the rhythm we go back to the D, and then we hit those G and B strings together like that. So nice and slowly, so we go one, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, moving on to the next part. Here's our voicing here. We've got a nice D major with the 11th added in. So we've got our first finger on the fifth fret here. Third finger is on the seventh fret. Open G string like that. And then we've got our fourth finger on the, what would be the seventh in open position there. And then the open E string like that. So really, really luscious, really nice sounding voicing here. Let's jump in, have a look at what we're doing with our fingers on this one. So we go. So what I'm doing is I'm effectively the A, D, G, and B. So the middle four strings on the guitar, I'm going like that. So I'm hitting the four together. And then I'm coming up and hitting the three like that. So one, two, one, two. Again, I'd like to stress you can use whatever finger picking style you're comfortable with or even hybrid picking with a pick. So just take your time and do whatever style is most comfortable for you with this one. So coming back to that, we go one, two, three, four. So it's the four together and then the three like that. So one, two. So that's pretty straightforward. So let's put that together with the E minor voicing. So we go one, one, two, three, four, like that, 
like that, three, four. So the three, one, two, three, four, G and the B strings together like that. Down to here, the middle four, and then the three, like that. So after we do that, the next part, people, is this. So what we're doing there is we've got our first finger on the 10th fret on the guitar and we're hitting the open D string and our B strings together. So we're going like that, that's the first note. Once we've got that, we're slurring onto the 11th fret like that. So we're hitting the B, sorry, the B string here and the D string together and going like that. And then we're dropping our first finger down to the 10th fret there. So this is the part. And we want to make sure we maintain that note there to keep a nice major third interval between those two fingers. So, And then we hit the open D string and our finger comes up on the 10th fret like that. So here we go, people. So slur, drop the first finger, pick the E string like that, come up, D string, and the G string together like that. Once more. Again. And last one, slur, major third, like that. Cool people, the next part we've got is coming down here. And we've got a very, very luscious C major voicing here, which is our first finger on the third fret, second finger on the fifth fret, open G string, fourth finger on the fifth there, and open E to get that unison of the major third. And a quick little tip to help you remember this one is it's just moving this same voice in here down two frets just like that. All right, let's put that together with everything we've got so far is. So this voicing I've just thrown in here, people, is a C major chord in from open position, but just moving it up to the fifth fret, just like that, okay? So, and what the rhythm I'm putting that one in is watching in on the fret, where we go one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. So back to the C major, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, and one. Two, three. So the whole line together. Two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Cool. So for the second line, people, the only variation that we've got compared to the first one is the second half with the chords, with the front half here. So remaining all the same. Two, three, four, and one, two, and three, four. So that's the part we're going to jump straight to, have a look at. So this first voicing here, after we've just gone from the C major, two, three, four, and. So we're changing the same rhythm that we did with the chord before, in the same position on the previous line. And this voicing is a C major nine, sharp 11. This is one of my most favorite voicings on the instrument. Very, very luscious with that sharp 11 and the ninth added in there. So we've got our first finger on the third, got my third finger on the fourth fret there for that sharp 11, open G string, and then we've got our second finger on the third fret on the B string, and then the open E below. So very, very luscious there. All right, and then the next voicing we have is a variation upon this one here. But what we've got is our fifth finger coming onto the fifth fret there. So third finger on the fifth, Second finger on the fourth, open G string like that again. First finger on the third fret like that, and then the fourth finger goes there, so. So let's put that line together, so we go. C major, two, sharp 11. We'll do it again. So one, two, three, four, and 
one, two, and three, four. So the and of two from this chord. So three, four, and one, two, and three, four. So that leads us now to the third line when we go. here all right let's break it down so after we've gone from this position here we come into this voicing which is our first finger on the 10th fret like that a third finger comes to the 11th fret on the guitar and then our second finger comes in on the 10th there so what we're doing with our fingers is one two three four so like that so Hitting those four notes together where we go one, two, three, four, five. So it's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And after we do that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is the A string, the G string and the B string like that. So once more, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So moving on to the next voicing, we've got our D major with the 11th in there. We've got our first finger on the eighth fret of the guitar, our third finger on the 10th. So we're going like that with the open D, the open G, and what would be an open position, the F sharp and the A, so we go hitting the same idea that we do with this voicing, but just transposing it to the notes applied here. So we go these four, one, two, and those three like that. So, and then we go this part here, which is, which is we're hitting the D and the B string like that, just like we did in the part before. And then our fourth finger is coming on to the 13th fret on the guitar like that. All right. So as opposed to going to the 10th, we go maintaining all those notes, coming up to that bit there, which is exactly the same. And then we go from that bit down to the C major like that. And then we go to this voicing exactly the same like that, which is the C major sharp 11 with the 9th and then that's the part we're gonna to have to start breaking down here. So what we've got is a D sus, we're starting off there, which is our first finger on the second fret. Our third finger comes on the third fret and our fourth finger drops in under there. So we go one, two, like that. So we're removing our fourth finger and placing our second finger down there. So we go one, two, and then the next movement is a slur like that. So one, two, and again. And then after that, people simply just remove all the fingers and hit the open B string. So we go one, two, and again, and again. So what that sounds like at pace, I'll put it together for you. So right from the beginning we go, Sharp 11. Cool, so that moves us on to the last line of the verse, jumping right in. This is exactly the same. And then when we get to this part, this is a variation we need to look at, which is quite simply hitting our C major like this, two, three, four, and then our D major voicing that we've covered already. But what we do different is we go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
So that's one, two, three, four, and then hitting the middle four strings like that. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's simply going one, two, three on the E, the B, and the G, four, five, and then a little gliss or miniature glissando on the D string, the G, and the B. So a little flutter like that. So here we go, putting it together we go. Two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four, five, six. And again, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. And last one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Cool, so there we have it. That's all the parts we're gonna to need to play the verse of Young Blood by Five Seconds of Summer. Again, just take your time and get used to whatever finger picking pattern that you're currently working with and just be really, really clear with that and really try and bring out those melody notes really strongly and really clearly to get the most out of the arrangement. But don't forget people, if you appreciate the content of these videos, smash those like, subscribe and share buttons. If there's anything you wanna see in future, don't forget to leave a comment either here on YouTube or on our website on the blog if you're watching it there. Practice it up people, there's a lot to get through, but just take your time, get to know where your fingers need to be and I will see you all in part two for the next part of the lesson.